the next topic that we are going to see is load testing scenarios how do we arrive at load testing scenarios how do we arrive at the load testing scenarios that is how do we arrive at the business critical scenarios we saw that we have uh, uh, new we know that if it's a new app if it's an existing app how do we arrive at these scenarios right we saw that in the workload model now how do we do the measurement criteria what is the measurement criteria for using these uh, scenarios for that we have one most frequently used most frequently accessed scenario to business critical critical scenario three resource intensive scenario four technology specific scenario five stakeholder concern six no this is the five the let's stop with this five that's the best ones okay now most frequently accessed scenario how do we understand most what is the most frequently accessed scenario most frequently accessed scenarios are scenarios where you understand that the application these are the common used the functionalities in the application we again we will get this from the server log server logs we can get this most frequently access scenario that is what we did in the workload modeling where we we pulled for a entire month in order to understand where we stand on these particular scenarios now we will understand how many users are you accessing the system and what are the scenarios that are most frequently accessed that is why we take the logs for the whole month to understand that the second way to do that is one the second way to do that is say example if i am uh, i'm working in uh, say i'm working for yahoo right now i understand what are the similar scenarios in gmail these are the most simple most frequently accessed scenarios in gmail i wanted to replicate that in my application and see how this works so comparing a separate different application or, or a similar not different in the sense a similar application right and finding out the most frequently accessed scenario is another way of doing it uh then um, uh what do you say uh, depending upon each and every one uh, uh if you talk to uh, say talk to a ba he will give you what are the scenario what is the most he knows that you know this application has x y z flow and this is the flow in which they have to come into the application this is the commonly used flows that they have uh, people usually go to this particular functionality he knows that he will provide you that information so these are the three ways different ways you can get that get this information if it's a business critical scenario what do you mean by a business critical scenario this is where you can in a layman's language you call the bread and butter we have, we, we have heard of the term called bnb right bread and butter of the of any application so what is the bread and butter of any application that that's the main income giving app portion of the application so that again the ba and the stakeholder will be able to tell you what is the main 
what is this application mainly designed for? What is the key functionality of this particular application? You will get this information from them. Resource incentive intensive scenarios. Say example, you are doing a complex calculation. Say uh, uh, your insurance company is doing a calculation for uh, your premium. There is a lot of complex calculations involved behind that. So what happens when these calculation happens, a lot of CPU and memory gets utilized. You are creating a, a, a report. Say example, we want to create a report for uh, for the next six, for the past six months. What what is the projected uh, um, um, projected uh, uh, the strategy that you had, and what is the what did you accomplish during that past six months? When you generate a report, that again you know it involves a lot of graphs. It might be in a PDF format. It might be in an Excel format. So in order to generate that report, it requires a lot of complex uh, code executions that would require a lot of CPU and memory usage. So those are also scenarios that are taken into consideration when we are looking into load testing scenarios. Technology specific scenarios, like you know, there are places where you know you use specific technology in order to get that. Those scenarios are also key scenarios that we would be looking into load testing scenarios. Stakeholder concern. That he might be seeing that you know there are a lot of that lot of that might not be a, a very high used application uh, high used functionality but he would we would be he would be getting a lot of uh, um, uh, complaints and a lot of uh, service requests coming up for that particular functionality so that's a concern that he has and he wants us to do a testing to see whether that what is the what is the what is the issue with that particular application so that that those functionalities are also taken into consideration when we are looking into the load testing scenarios. Guys, you are able to understand. Any questions? Any questions, guys? So how we spoke about most frequently accessed business critical scenarios, resource intensive scenarios, technology specific scenarios, and stakeholder concern scenarios. These are the these are the five uh, key functions or five five key ways in which we arrive at the scenario for a specific testing model. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Fine. So that is all about load testing. Uh, that is all about performance testing. Testing concept. Concept. Now, understanding this concept will help you to design to a point where we can start working on the test strategy or the test plan. This is the point in which in order for you to understand, in order for you to develop a test plan, how you are going to plan your test, what are the types of tests that you are going to run in order to achieve this, these are the steps that we did. Step one, step two, these are the steps we did. So what are the steps we did? Let's quickly write down the steps that we did. So first what we did, we focused on workload. Workload modeling. Workload modeling, where we focused on business workload or infrastructure workload, right? And these two workloads will in, uh, will combine in, in order to get the business business critical scenarios, right? In order to get the business critical scenario, again it is split it into two ways: new app and the existing app, right? Now new app or the existing app, there are set of questions that you have to ask. So we wrote about the list of set of questions. 
and then once we get the answer to the set of questions let me bring this down a further down once we get the answer to the set of questions this again merge to form into a load testing scenario so now once we get the load testing scenario detail which we went through the five steps five process in order to identify those scenarios once we identify the scenario we go and start writing the test plan once we finish the test plan then we go into the design phase execution reporting reporting closure so till now i have not spoken about any tool i have not spoken about any tool so that means any tool that you are working no matter it is load runner j meter um, web load uh, rational performer silk performer any tool that you are talking about steps are the same till you come to this level steps are the same till this point so so when you talk about any tool the tool only comes from this point here is where the tool comes and the tool is used only at these two points let's clean it up the tool is used only at these two points design and execution reporting again is done in excel closure is done in uh, excel and word so this is how it only for these two places we use the tool rest all the concept the entire concept this is again word word document we create a test plan so the entire concept of performance testing only at the design and execution phase we use the the tool rest all is concept based